Welcome to the Michigan Runner Show. Join us each time as we explore the people, the places, and the events that shape our great sport. Unfortunately, there's a guy by the name of Neil, um, Neil Shine. He was the managing editor of the Free Press. And Neil, he went out to Felman. I don't know if you guys are familiar with uh, the, um, There's a race in Felman, the 7.1 mile race, pretty famous race. And anyway, he went out there, observed the race, saw how much fun everybody was having, came back here and said, all right, we want a big marathon in Detroit. Hey, say, uh, you're, you're looking up pretty good. What do you think to run this race? Well, I, I'm going to walk this race, so uh, I, I think I can handle that one. I don't want to start off running and have to stop. I'm going to keep a steady pace all the way through. But I'm excited about this. This is great. This is fantastic for the city. Uh, and this is fantastic. Well, congratulations, and thank you for contributing to the city this way. Right. You two are walking the 5K or running the 5K or something, right? Some combination thereof. They thought I'm a really big run, but then we're gonna start walking hard. Okay. Yeah. You've been training for it this year. Oh yeah, all year. Have you been training too? Oh, of course. I've just been training extremely hard. Doing a lot of clubs the whole time. Then we ran the other on the 5K. Match. But I tell you, this is just a beautiful setting, isn't it, Jenny? I just feel so good about this here in Detroit with uh, Comerica Park and finishing in Ford Field. It's really going to spotlight the story and the progress of Today, we will rock you for 26.2 miles. Yeah. From my heart and with all that I have, you are extraordinary. Now say, can you see by the dawn's early light, why so bright?
Virginia. Oh yeah, what's the name? My aim is to go there. I'll do my best. We're here with the winner of the wheelchair marathon. He's one of the world's top wheelchair marathoners. Can you tell us how the race went for you today? Um, hi, my name is Krieger. I'm uh, last in Scarborough. I'm from uh, South Africa and I live in Shearsland, Georgia, very near Um I've been here in 98 and 99 and won this race twice then and I came back here today again and I won it again. It was actually a, a nicer race than uh, 98 and 99. It was tough then, but it wasn't good weather today. We had a real nice weather, so I'm very happy with the weather. <laughs> and uh, it's nice to me to so welcome this. Fantastic stadium. We're glad to have you come here. We're the old place to status of our wheelchair. I did. I had. Uh, I, I wanted to go out and I wanted to pace well and run a good race. And I ultimately, if, if I get to the end and I feel that I've given it my all mentally and physically, then I'm then I'm happy. And I definitely don't have anything left. <laughs> now you ran this race last year, is that correct? Yes, I did, and I uh, I came in came in second, so I was hoping uh, hoping this year to take the lead. But, um, I thought it was way it was definitely more interesting. It was great to go over the bridge. I have to say, uh, I enjoyed going over the bridge in the car much more. But. Uh, <laughs> 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 I was just the last leg of our team, so. How many people are your team? Five. Five medals for you. Oh, thanks. Um, I took a mile foot, so I think I was just under five minute pace, so it wasn't great, but I was having a lot of fun. I mean, I was hoping to run a little bit faster. I think, I think uh, we're going shooting for the team record, team course record. And I think we got it, but uh, yeah, yeah. I consider myself a Michigan, a Michigan person. My legs were just didn't have it today. I ran a marathon two weeks ago in 246 and qualified for my sixth Olympic trials, which was just, I was, I, I just can't even explain what that meant to me. And how Very strong finish, David Chase and a winner. Steve Wilson. Steve Wilson. Here's a roll of Richmond. First timer down in the left. Collins of Portland. Here we go. Ron Coyle is up here. Ron at the house. This is my 25th. Uh, had you I'm sure Doug Curtis is one who lays it out, but he does just a great job. He's a runner. He knows runners. He knows what runners want, and he puts as much as it as he can in the course. We're here with marathon finisher Bonnie Hum. Bonnie, how did the race go for you today? Well, it went great. The weather was terrific. It was the last stretch on Lafayette was a little tough. And it was very blustery, very windy, and that last little downhill stretch into the stadium, I thought I was going to lose it.